welcome to School of Chaos Cooking with Tom. Yesterday we did apple straws that were not good. So today we're going to do espresso shortbread. For that, basically you need butter, flour, brown sugar, vanilla, um, instant coffee, and nicely quick with a pinch of salt. What you do is you put your butter in this. Is, if you have a stand mixer, this is like the best thing to do with a stand mixer. It just makes it so easy. Put two sticks of butter into your stand mixer. Cream it. Once your butter is fluffy, and that's it. You want to add your brown sugar. And you want to add one teaspoon of vanilla. This vanilla is good in almost everything. And you whip together. After your stuff is, um, once your butter and your sugar and your vanilla is whipped together, or creamed, you want to add your flour. Generally at home, I'll, you'll um, sift this along with your cocoa and your um, espresso. But I don't have a sifter here, so we're just going to throw it in all together and see how she goes. I'd recommend you do this about half at a time. If not, you'll be, you know, just a cloud of white. Do this you do on low, okay? Don't flip that switch up. You think got a really big cloud of white. Once that's worked in a, a, a little bit, so it's combined so you don't have just, just flour, you're going to want to scrape down your beater and inside your bowl. Because inside your bowl, all your butter sticking to the edges of it. So you want to scrape this down, pull all that butter back down in the middle of the mixer bowl. Look at that. I mean, how can shortbread not be good? It's just butter and sugar. A little bit of flour tossed in for uh, kicks. Add the rest of your flour. Stick it on a bowl again. Once it starts getting into big blocks, I guess, then you know it's about ready to go. Okay, your dough is all mixed together. Okay, make sure you preheat your oven to 350. with these ones here is you pull the dough out put it into a little ball and it smells like cocoa and coffee and butter and it's really really good smelling what you can do before you put it in the refrigerator is you can shape your dough too what I've been doing probably the last I don't know a year or so is shaping it into basically a square and then when you go to put them on the tray, you just cut them. And they're so much quicker than trying to cut them out. And you have less waste. It works really nice. You just make your dough into a big square or a circle, whatever shape you want your shortbread to be. that back in there and then refrigerate it for 25 minutes we'll pull our dough out put it onto a cutting board take a knife see them about, about quarter inch pieces here okay Take your shortbreads, put them onto your. I use a um, stone with parchment paper. They can be relatively close because they're not going to spread much. 
want to keep them at least about a quarter inch apart, if not three eighths. Or if you're in the metric, it'd be about seven millimeters. Or if you're a scientist, it'd be seven millimeters. Or English. Or, or anywhere English. else. Anywhere but else America. but the U.S. It would be metric. So you put them seven millimeters apart. We all wildly crazy go up to eight or nine. So you want to give them a little bit of room to spread, but not like a chocolate chip cookie that they're going to spread like crazy. Okay, put the cookies in again for about 20 minutes. Check them at 20. It'll take between 20 and 25 minutes for them to be finished. Cookies baked for about 25 minutes. Um, they're brown on the edges. A little hard to tell with a brown cookie, but the brown on the edges, you just pull them off your pan, put them on a cooling rack, let them cool completely. And these are, if you want a cookie to ship to some ship to somebody, shortbread's the best cookie to ship. Because you can sit in a box for a week and they still taste, actually the older they get to a point, they taste better and better. It's kind of like a day old cake, it just tastes better. But then, then when it's fresh. Of course, so Sherry keeps telling me, all cake is good at all times. Let's see how these turned out. They're still a little warm. Coffee and chocolate and shortbread. Very tasty. Try them at home.